of radio activity over now. Stay there for me, Starling. Virtual's glossy starling. A little bit different to the very common European starling that seems to have found its way into every nook and cranny on the planet, I think. We do have European starlings. They were brought over to South Africa. As far as I know, I don't think they migrate. Very similar to the flux of them that you get in North America. One of a number of species of birds that were taken to North America by some... I can't remember who it was. Someone decided to introduce all the birds that were mentioned in Shakespeare's works and so proceeded to introduce things like sparrows and starlings. I don't know what else. There was a whole host of other birds. Some of them might not have done well, but things like starlings and sparrows are such opportunists they tend to take hold. Like the minor birds that we get and the crows, the house crows, the minor birds that come from a the Indian subcontinent. And it wouldn't be so bad if they just found a niche and lived with it, but unfortunately a lot of these birds that are what we call alien invaders, a lot of them become parasitic. Well, they tend to break and destroy indigenous birds' nests, they likely to eat chicks. But they become such fierce competition that they actually displace a lot of indigenous bird species. And that can cause trouble. Actually, that means that you have a bird that's not wanted, or an animal in some cases where there are animals that have been reintroduced, perhaps plants, animals, birds, fish, all sorts of organisms that are put 